Fortunately, you do. I think Ten Hag got the best motives to uh, what he wants to achieve by, by Manchester United, but in your leadership as well, because the boys are not stupid, they see that you, you treat people differently, and he says, I'm ready, the king can play, but the king goes home at halftime, and so on and so on. Having said that, it may be their only hope with his goals. But I'm with the boys in terms of philosophy. I mean, to say it a bit simple, Brighton got... Graham Potter, Manchester United need Harry Potter because they have to do so much thing there. And I would also with Jews, it's quite interesting, this thing that we can talk about the Ajax school and the way of Ajax playing. But this is not Ajax. This is a team that hasn't have a clear way of playing for a couple of seasons. These are players without confidence. These are players just running around. These are players that at the end of the last season were leaking out of the, the, the dress more than Titanic were leaking. This was a terrible culture at that club. So we can be optimistic, or a Manchester United fan can be optimistic about a couple of two, three weeks in a pre-season when people are in pre-season. So I think before you expect Ten Hag to make his Ajax, Johan Cruyff kind of great philosophy kind of thing, you have to sort out the minds of the players. And it didn't help today that he clearly played players out of position. And, uh, well, Manchester United fans, they had like 10 minutes of optimism. Yep. And now they're back and they're seeing that they're going after Anatovic. Yep. Uh, I mean, if he's the answer, who is doing the question time? Uh, we'll go on to Anatovic in a moment. But, Robert, going back to Jules' points about the scars of the last two seasons easily being bare when the mm. chips are down, is that fixable? You, you, you usually have to fix it by making sure the players know exactly what their roles in the side are, what the game plan is, so that when they do make, make mistakes, you say, OK, you made a mistake, you know, you, you're not full of comment, but you've got to keep doing the same things. This is your next pass. This is where your next ball's going to make. These are the runs you've got to make. And if you start to reproduce those patterns of play over and over again, suddenly the players will become more confident. But... He had to change it at half-time because Ericsson was playing as a false number nine. He was coming deeper and they were trying to get their two midfield players running on and their two wide players going at the full-backs or the wide centre-halves of Brighton. That didn't really work because Sancho, I thought, was very poor. And Rashford equally as poor out on the left-hand side. So it didn't work. So he's got to make sure he keeps doing the same things over and over again. And he's got to make them better at doing those things. If he keeps changing his plans from one week to the next, the players won't know what they're doing. They'll have no confidence and Manchester United will have a real struggle in the house and so will Ten Hag. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to ESPN Plus.